Good morning, KG2. Welcome back to your social studies class. As you know, we are learning about community helpers. And last week, the community helper that we learned about was a firefighter. Last week, we met Mr. Puppy, the firefighter. And we also saw the different equipments that the firefighters used to protect themselves and to put out fires. And the community helper we are going to learn about today is... Oh, who is this? Hi, it's me, Mr. Puppy. Hi, Mr. Puppy. I thought you were a firefighter. Where is your firefighter uniform? What happened? Oh, I got fired from being a firefighter. You got fired? Yeah. Oh, no. So what do you do now? I work as a police officer. A police officer? Well, I'm sorry you got fired, but I'm happy you're a police officer. You know why? Because today we are going to learn about police officers. Yay! A police officer helps to keep our community safe by making sure that people obey the law. The police officer is a friend and children don't need to be afraid of him. Only those who break or disobey the law have a reason to fear them. Now, a police officer can be a man or a woman. And in different countries, the police officers wear different uniforms. In Kuwait, the police officers usually wear dark blue uniforms. And sometimes, they also wear these high visibility jackets which help them to be seen in the dark. Now let's have a look at some of the equipments and the things that police officers use. First, we have a hat. Some police officers wear a helmet or a hat and they have their seal or badge attached to the hat. Some police officers also wear a vest or a bulletproof jacket which protects them while they do their job. And this is an officer's badge. An officer's badge is usually shaped like a shield or a star with a special symbol. A police officer must be worthy in order to wear a badge. When we see a police with a badge, we know that person can help us. And this is a torch. It helps them to see in the dark. And these are handcuffs. They use these to catch bad guys. And this is a radio. A police officer can talk to others on a special radio in his patrol car. A person in the police station also uses a radio to tell the other police officers where they need to be. And this is a belt which you usually see attached to a police officer. It's around their waist and they keep all their equipments attached to this belt. In this picture you'll see the belt is attached to their waist and they keep all their equipments in this belt. Now, where can you find a police? The police officer works at the police station. And you will see them using the police car. Some police officers also use helicopters. Some use a motorbike. And in some countries, the police officers also use a horse. Sometimes we have special officers helping the police to do their job. These are police dogs. Now remember, a police dog is trained and can be very helpful for a policeman while investigating. They help to catch the bad guys. Not only do police officers catch bad guys and people who break the law, but they also help people around them. If you're lost, you can always go to a police officer and they will help you. 
and the traffic police will help you cross the street and if you park in no parking you might also get a ticket for doing that we can help our police officers by praying for them we pray that god will protect them as they do their job to keep our community safe and we can also help them by being safe by obeying some safety rules now let's have a look at some safety rules that we must obey now stay with me i will obey these safety rules when you go shopping, stay close to your parents. Stay in your own yard when you play outside. Stay close to your house. Always wear a seat belt when riding a car. Learn your phone number and your address. Practice saying your address and your phone number. Never talk to a stranger alone or never get into a car with a stranger alone. Never open the door to someone you don't know. you have two worksheets the first worksheet looks something like this you have to color the picture don't forget to write your name and date color the trees and the police car and for the uniform you will use a light blue crayon for the shirt and dark blue crayon for the pants and for the hat you can use black blue light blue dark blue any color black or light blue and then for the badge you'll use yellow the badge on the uniform and the badge on the hat okay and then don't forget to color the skin and the hair of the police officer and also the shoes the shoes will be black and for the dog you can use any color dark brown light brown any color but for the uniform make sure you use light blue and dark blue and make it look beautiful color the grass the police car the trees in the background now let's move on to your second worksheet the second worksheet you have two papers and the pictures you have to cut them so make sure you have your scissor and your glue ready and after you cut the pictures they'll look something like this now let's read the first question first box it's number one it says a police officer works at the police station so now in which picture do you see a police station take a look at the pictures that you've got yes that's the one so take the picture and stick it right next to the first question that's how you'll do it with your glue stick you'll stick it right next to the first box now let's move on to the second box. It says a police officer can be a man or a woman. So in which picture do you see a woman police officer? Look for it. Yes, that's the one. So you'll take that and stick it right next to that question, number two. All right, that's how you will read and do the uh, worksheet. You'll read and select the picture. Third question. A trained dog can be very helpful for a policeman while he's investigating. So in which picture can you see a dog? That's the one. So take that picture, stick it right next to the third question. All right, now let's move on to the fourth question. It says a police officer goes around in a police car or in a motorbike. Where do you see a motorbike in a police car? Look for it. Yes, that's the one. And you'll stick it right next to the fourth question. Now we have two pictures remaining and only one question left. So let's read the question. A police officer helps the community by catching thieves or people who break rules. Now which picture do you see uh, the police officer catching a thief? There's one picture where he's talking to the kids. 
yes that's the one so you'll stick that picture for the fifth question now the remaining picture you can stick at the back of your worksheet okay do not throw that picture stick it at the back of your worksheet so that was our lesson for today and it's a goodbye from me and mr puppy i'll see you again next week goodbye goodbye, goodbye everyone <laughs>